Year 1864. I could smell victory for the Union. And boy, it smelled way better than that damn stew that Cook makes day in and out. Lincoln had given General Grant full command over the Union armies. We needed a clear victory over the South before the election of 1864. We, the Confederacy, are getting our buttocks whipped. We are outnumbered, but we still have the fighting spirit. The best we can hope for is a stalemate or negotiate peace. Don't tell me. Our strategy would rise on industrialism and help from African-American soldiers. I worry for my life, as Grant could care less for heavy casualties. In May, we marched to Virginia with 115,000 troops, to the Confederacy's pitiful 75,000. Who are you calling pitiful? We took 31,000 deaths to your 55,000. Our generals don't need numbers to claim a victory. Anyways, we were psychologically dead, but we continued and siege the railroad at Richmond. I am proud to say the trenches we built there were used in World War I. Hey, no spoilers! As for the election of 1864, things were heating up, literally. Grant was stopping farmers from helping the Confederacy by setting fire to crops. Lincoln's re-election relied on a Union victory, which came in the form of Sherman's victory at Atlanta. In my opinion, Lincoln shouldn't have taken office again because of his assassination. Spoiler alert. He was the right man for the job though, winning 212 of 233 electoral votes. It was a brutal and unspeakable time. First Maryland and Missouri, then Tennessee, Arkansas, and Louisiana began legal emancipation. <laughs> In January of 1865, the 13th Amendment, the abolishment of slavery, was passed. The war was nearly over. Sherman's forces took Atlanta and marched south, terrorizing everything in their paths. And, in April of 1865, Grant forced Lee to abandon Richmond. Lee surrendered at a part of <laughs> Courthouse, Virginia. By May, the Confederacy was no more. It was concluded with Lincoln's second inaugural address where he stated, So still it must be said, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. I wish there was more to say, but I guess this is the end. Thank you. <laughs>